I've already shuffled. And we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and your person. We'll find out what's coming up. We'll see what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll find out what the outcome is. So, Libra, the recent past energy, Ace of Pentacles. And it's paired with the King of Wands. Now, the Ace of Pentacles, you could find yourself enjoying new beginnings when you get this card in a reading. And the new beginnings, they're probably... Or could be on several levels. And this is very positive. All positive new beginnings. So you could feel optimistic, upbeat, hopeful about the future. Things should be going well. You could be starting something new very soon. This could be in the area of work or it could be personally. But either way, it's a really good thing when you get the Ace of Pentacles. Now, also the King of Wands, which can indicate a man who could have hair on the lighter end of the spectrum, but it could go either way. This person, they may want to serve as a mentor for you. The King of Wands is a positive card in the tarot. Even when it does not represent an actual person in your life, it could signify that you have men around you who are supportive of you and they think really well of you so you'll be feeling ambitious you'll be feeling ambitious goal oriented and you'll have the will to accomplish whatever you have in your mind so you have to think positive you have to think positive when you get the king of wands in a reading so basically, Libra, the message that I'm getting with this Ace of Pentacles clarified by King of Wands for your recent past energy between you and your person is that you, you got a new beginning with um, someone. This could have been someone new or someone that you already knew. And it felt like the connection underwent a new beginning. Or maybe some, your person wanted a new beginning with you. And because this King of Wands is with this Ace of Pentacles, I'm getting that this person they had uh, um, emotions for you. They cared a lot about you. And they were very protective of the connection. So, some of you, you got a fresh new start with someone. Or... Um, you got a new beginning, and it felt great because this person, um, they cared a lot about you. Yeah, with the King of Wands here. Now let's move on over. Let's see what's coming up for the two of you. So we got Justice, and it's with the Hangman. Now Justice actually deals with the ideal of karma and the law of cause and effect. It's important for you to remember that not everything you're dealing with is a direct result of your own actions or karma because sometimes we're called upon to deal with the results of the actions of someone we care about so you have to remember to not not to blame yourself unnecessarily and if you're involved directly in a court case it's likely to be resolved at least a large degree in your favor now to so the hangman the hangman shows that you, you could be at a crossroads, one with only two option type. Type of crossroads, in or out, up or down, yes or no. You could find yourself wanting to do something, but you have no idea what it is or how to do it. Now, if this does happen, it's a sign that you should stop, relax, and take a look at ways that you might need to let go of attempts to control life situations, people, or... Maybe certain things, because it's possible that there's an outdated attitude or wish that you need to let go of. Any sacrifice, any sacrifice that you make, it's going to open up your life to something even more positive than what you let go of. So, overall, this should be a thoughtful, reflective time, especially if you're willing to look at if or how you might best serve your own interest by being willing to change. So 
So coming up, Libra, for you and your person, just as clarified by the hangman. So the message that I'm getting here is that, yeah, you got a new beginning or a fresh new start with someone, with your person. And because justice is here, I'm getting that some of you want something to be fixed. You want something to be made right. You want some type of justice. Because the connection can be, it can be hard with this hangman showing up here for it to move forward or to progress. Because you feel like something, your person needs to make something right. They need to make something right. In your eyes, something hasn't been. If something's not satisfied. Something, they need to fix something. Yeah, you feel like some type of justice needs to be served. They need to do something right by you. Because it's just, it, because they haven't done it yet, it's leaving you confused. Should you stay? Should you go? In or out? Up or down? Yes or no? So, yeah, there's something that you want your person to correct. Do you want them to come correct so that when you two are together, there is no tit for tat? Well, you did this, now I'm going to do that. Or, yeah, you did that to me a long time ago, so it's okay for me to do this to you. So, you want to feel like justice has been served. Something a person did, maybe, and you felt that there was injustice, and it's leaving you kind of confused about maybe coming together with this person or just being here. In the connection with this person. They need to make something right. Because you feel like there's going to be tit for tat. If they don't. So you're looking for justice. From your person. You want this justice. From them. So. Let's move on over. Let's take a look. And see what the challenge is. So we got this. Eight of swords. And so we got three of cups. Now, this Eight of Swords, it can be about holding yourself back because you you could be afraid of moving into the future or because you're wary of getting hurt by a new situation or it could be for no reason at all. But you're going to have to think through what it is you're afraid of because the truth of the situations, so the truth of the situation is probably that things are much less frightening than your mind is making it out to be. Now, it's with the Three of Cups. Three of Cups can be a card of reunions, but that's not its only connotation. It can mean a reunion in the broadest sense of running back into a meeting up with someone or something that you've been away from for a long time. Now, this is this is con considered to be a happy reunion, very upbeat. It can also mean celebration, your own or someone that you care about. You could be celebrating around a new baby, a wedding, or some type of really happy occasion. So Libra, the challenge, Eight of Swords, clarified by this Three of Cups. So, I'm not sure if you're dealing with someone from the past. If this King of Wands is someone that you used to know. It's that this person, they have a lot of emotions for you. They're trying to make a return. Or if you're dealing with someone already, but the Three of Cups are saying something about the past. Yeah. So for a lot of you, you're dealing with someone that wants to come back or they already came back, but you're afraid to move forward. Because if you look at the Eight of Swords, it's showing this man he's caged himself in with all these swords. 
There's a hot fire behind him and a huge bull. But he's not budging. He's not moving forward. He's not running. Because he could easily put one foot in front of the other and get the heck out of there. But you'd rather stand by a fire than move forward with this person because, yeah, I'm getting you're still kind of coming up. You're still going to be stuck in your head like this hangman. And you still feel like justice has not been served yet. They need to make something right first. Because you, you just don't want that tit for tat. You don't want that going on. You don't want that to be happening. You're trying to pay them back for something they did. And they're trying to pay you back for what you did. Because you did what needed to be done. Because they did that to you. And now they're trying to do something to you. Because you did that. To, you don't want that. So somebody's coming back, and they want to celebrate with you. They feel like you two could have a great time. A lot of, probably a lot of happy memories with this person, but you're just standing there. They need to make something right. They need to fix something. So let's see what the outcome is. Okay, so we got this world card, and it's with the two of cups. Now, the world card is actually about completion. You worked hard, you're almost to the finish line in some way, just don't quit now because you're so close. You could feel like you need some well-deserved rest, relaxation, don't be afraid to take it. Because you're getting closer and closer to you are at your deepest levels. Now, when it comes to work, it's a good chance that you're working way too hard for far too little recognition and money. So it's going to be important for you to toot your own horn, if this is the case, just to make sure that the powers that be don't accidentally overlook your many positive accomplishments. Okay, so this with the Two of Cups, which can refer to a romantic partnership, but that's not its only connotation. It can speak of balance, friendship, joy, sharing. And this card says that things are likely to be going well. So you should be feeling more than usually loved, cared for, and content. So your outcome, Libra, the world card, clarified by two of cups. So, yeah. Libra, you're dealing with someone that, like I said... They have a lot of emotions for you. King of Wands is about caring and protective feelings. And they want back in. And if, you're, if they're not trying to get back in and you're already with them, they want to celebrate life with you. They want, they want to be happy with you again and rejoice. You're holding yourself back. But it looks like for the outcome, it looks pretty good here. They, they know that there's something that they need to make right. So, it looks like they could be starting by closing out some chapters in their life. Or ending some cycles with some situations or people that's no longer serving them. It looks like they could be starting with that. It's look like there's a process that has to be be done before they, they can make things right with you. So they're closing out some chapters in their life. Maybe it's with other people. Yeah. So they're starting by doing that or maybe whatever it is that you feel they just they need to do something right by you. Well, it looks like they could be working on it. Yeah. With the world card, they're trying to fix it. They're trying to close out some things. They're trying to complete some chapters and some journeys. Because they feel that you're their ideal mate. The Two of Cups can be about the ideal partner or harmony, a harmony, a union, a deep connection. 
It can be about a romantic love, partnership, proposal, marriage. So this person, because they see you as someone that they would want to commit to. If not now, they, they feel that you're the one. Maybe down the line, but they know that there are some things that they have to put some time and energy into to close out some cycles. And this way, it will help for them to do things right by you, whatever it is. But they're starting by closing out some journeys in their life and ending some chapter, chapters. But yeah, you're the one that they want because, like I said, this Two of Cups is absolutely beautiful. They see you as the ideal person, the ideal mate, and they're working on it. That's what it's showing here. For, for a lot of you, they're, they're trying. So that is a reading that I have for you, Libra. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading. Where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself? Best case scenario and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Libra, thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there. It's going to pass. We'll all get through this. So stay strong. Take good care of yourselves. Come back and join me for the next Libra reading. Just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Also, keep in mind when you get the readings, the rows, the rows can be switched. Yes, they can. You could be them or they could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could be a friend, a family member, a co-worker, or maybe even a situation. So, just take the readings for however it resonates, because like I said, these are general readings. They're not personal readings. So Libra, I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope that you have a great day. I wish you all of you happy holidays. I hope to see you at the next reading and take care.